Well, good afternoon all. So, today we shall discuss about the topic IC engines. So, I C engine. First of all, let us understand the term engine. So, engine is a device which is used to get mechanical energy. So, mechanical energy in the sense our movement, the movement of the vehicle. So, as the engine shaft rotates, the wheels of the automobile is connected to the engine shaft so that the vehicle moves. Is it right or not? See, if they, for example, if this is a motor car, okay. So, these are the wheels. So, here is an engine which produces mechanical energy at the expense of some fuel, okay. Then, so here it consists of a shaft which rotates. Now, this rotary motion is transferred to the wheels by using some linkages so that the vehicle moves in the required direction, whether it may be forward or backward. So, here the function of the engine is to produce mechanical energy. So, how does it produce mechanical energy? How can it produce mechanical energy? Yes? Yeah, how can it rotate the shaft? By using fuel. So, you have to supply certain quantity of fuel, maybe petrol or diesel. So, if you supply certain quantity of petrol or diesel to an engine, this fuel burns inside the cylinder. This fuel burns inside the cylinder so that huge amount of heat energy is produced and then this heat energy is converted into mechanical energy. So, such type of engines are called as heat engines. So, what is the name of that engine? Heat engine. So, what is the function of an heat engine? Yes. So, if you take a heat engine like this, so this is an heat engine, you have to supply fuel to it. You have to supply fuel to it. Fuel means it is a chemical. Basically, it is a chemical. That means you are supplying chemical energy to the engine. Okay. So, you are supplying chemical energy to the engine. So, that this chemical energy is converted into mechanical energy. Right. So, how that will take place that we shall see later. Okay. So, this chemical energy is converted into mechanical energy. If this is a electrical generator, so it consists of a shaft. The shaft has to be rotated. Only if the shaft is rotated in the magnet field, then only the EMF is generated. Is it right or not? So, for that purpose, you have to supply rotary motion to the shaft. So, this rotary motion can be supplied by using this IC engine. So, here we are getting this mechanical energy. So, this mechanical energy is in the form of rotary motion. So, that is why if you connect this generator to the engine, then the electricity can be produced. So, here we can link both mechanical and electrical engineering branches. So, the source which is connected to the generator is called as prime mover. You might have heard this word. So, here the prime mover is a heat engine. Okay? Right. So, a heat engine is a device which is used to convert the chemical energy into mechanical energy. And in turn, this mechanical energy can be converted into electrical energy or any other form of energy. So, here the flow is initially this chemical energy is converted into the heat energy here and then this heat energy is converted into mechanical energy then this mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy by using this generator. 